Hey, I'm Jamie, welcome to Freestyle Games. This is where we've been beavering away, getting our inner rock star on, making Guitar Hero Live. We love music here at Freestyle, um, and it's a great pleasure for us to be able to bring back a game like Guitar Hero. We felt now is the time to bring Guitar Hero Live back because we've got something that we think is really awesome and really good fun. Well, we're always sure that we wouldn't bring the game back until we've made enough of a leap over the previous generation. We're a music studio, that's what we've been doing for, for many years and live music is like one of our biggest passions. For the first time in Guitar Hero, we've spun the camera around and basically made it all about you being on stage performing in the shoes of a rock star. Doing that with live action video just takes it to the next level of immersiveness. What we've been able to do is cast real bandsmates, real actors, real musicians, and put them alongside you on stage. It's real people, we're on a stage, we're in front of an actual crowd rather than it just being computer graphics. Well, that's a, something that's never been done before. What I think you don't realise as a fan of people is they're nervous before they go on stage, and they do get a bit stage fright. They don't know which way it's going to go, are the crowd going to be a good crowd or a bad crowd? And we wanted to try and deliver that and, and kind of almost complete the whole Guitar Hero experience. It's pretty insane, as you can see. <laughs> We've got this huge big robot camera thing. You've just got to act as if it's your band member. For me, one of the coolest things is, is the crowd. We wanted to give the player feedback without just being a score. Um, and one of the things we came up with was to have responsive crowds. So if you're playing really well and if you're rocking out and you're killing it, the crowd are going to be going crazy. But if you start dropping notes and start messing it up, not only are the crowd going to turn on you, but so are your band members as well, because you, you're effectively ruining their career as well as your own. When we come up with the idea for live, we knew we had something really cool, but we also wanted to go a bit bigger. So we came up with GHTV, which is our always-on playable music video network. This is a place where you're going to go and be able to play tons of music whenever you want. You can have multiplayer as well, so you can have multiple guitars connected to play the game. It will give the player an opportunity to experience new types of music. On top of that, we're really keen on you discovering new music as well. We're launching with two channels, and I think the most important thing about TV is it's a really broad place for music. We're trying to cover pretty much everything. At Freestyle, we're huge music fans. We've got a ton of people in bands here. The thing we're all passionate about is music is a broad range. We decided that we wanted to try and have as wide a set of genres in the game as possible. So, you know, we've got what you would expect. We've got rock, we've got indie rock, we've got heavy metal, but we've also got dance rock. We've also got a full female pop set in there as well, which is pretty cool. Whatever type of music you're into, hopefully you'll find a good few songs in the game that are really suited to you. Another super cool thing about Guitar Hero Live is we've completely changed the gameplay. A great deal of effort, a lot of different prototypes went into how we could change the, the button layout, you know, what more could we do with the guitar. We were kind of starting to think about, you know, if somebody does air guitar, they always go like, oh, and this is strumming, and this hand they're doing something like this. We wanted to try and give you something to do with this hand, um, which felt a bit more like playing a guitar again, but it was still fun. So we have a new button configuration with three buttons along the top and three buttons along the bottom. Now you can keep your three fingers in place, but you can move up and down and you can start to create chord shapes and it starts to feel way more cool. It also gives a little bit more depth to people that played on medium level because you're not having to use your pinky and get lost, which is what we saw a lot of our, our players were getting lost with. In some ways it's, it's easier and in some ways it's harder. And then on top of that, for expert players, there's way more button configurations and it becomes a lot harder at the top end. With GH Live and with GH TV, we've got a real breakthrough um, in rhythm action gaming and we're really looking forward to getting it in everyone's hands. We've put our heart and souls into this game and there's so much more to share with you. A couple of secrets. One of them is how we brought it to mobile um, and we just hope you guys enjoy this as much as we enjoyed making it. Yeah.